see. So I'm from San Francisco, and I've always loved music, um, writing my own songs ever since I was little, even just little tunes. Um, and, you know, my mom would kind of like, she said that I would used to think that I was alone. I would go off onto these long improvised musical numbers in my room, like running around, on this, you know, pretending it was a stage. I, I remember looking out the window and there was kind of this, this hill with, with this, like lights of houses across the way and I would pretend that it was a, like an arena with, with glow sticks. And so seeing that now is unbelievable, it feels like. It's just so amazing to see that come true. Um, and so once I got uh, into high school, or about a year, my last year maybe of middle school, I started coming to LA on the weekends. Um, and I would do my schoolwork. My school was very academically rigorous, very tough um, curriculum, um, which I appreciate. I'm sort of a nerd. And so I would do that in the week, during the week, and then on the weekends, I would be in LA writing and recording and writing and recording. I began to co-write too, which was really inspiring. Um, and that went on for about five, six years. And um, Along the way, I was a very big Jonas Brothers fan, <laughs> and uh, when, one of the times I was in LA, I, I ran into them, and I met them and their family, and we just started running into each other, and it was almost like fate. Um, we became good family friends, but I never wanted to say that I was a musician, because um, I didn't want them to think that I was asking for anything. I just wanted it to be about friendship um, between us, and one time I ran into Kevin from the Jonas Brothers uh, at a recording studio, and he's like, what are you doing here? So the truth comes out, I'm an aspiring musician. And their dad came to hear me at a rehearsal, and he said, wow, this could really be something. Um, but at the time, his sons were doing their three separate careers. So um, he said, when they come back together and they're the Jonas Brothers again, and one act, and then easier to manage, I'll, I would love to work with you. So that was about a little over a year ago that we started really working together with him as my manager. Um, and so that's when I wrote songs like Better With You, which is my single now, um, and I started kind of really gearing up to hopefully tour and hopefully become more of a public presence rather than just behind the scenes writing and recording. Um, and then I went and met with CIA, um, the agency, uh, the music and, and acting agency, and they became my agents, and they set me up with the Big Time Rush tour over the summer, and that was my first tour, and just... Oh, from then on, I guess that would be kind of the big, the big break when my social media started to climb and I started to really gain a lot of um, following on social media um, to where I used to respond to everybody, but then I couldn't anymore because there were so many comments. And at first that was hard to deal with because I wanted to be so friendly, but it was just impossible. Um, and it was amazing, unbelievable experience, and I fell in love with touring. <laughs> I was so sad when it was over. Um, but then. We had a day off after that tour ended, and I went straight to the Jonas Brothers tour, and I did three shows with them, which was so huge. We started in San Francisco, my hometown, and um, my friends that I used to go to shows with were there in the audience watching me open for them. It was amazing. <laughs> and actually, at one of the venues that I actually saw them perform at, so it was crazy. And um, after that, it was the Jessie J tour in the UK, which was unbelievable. She's such an inspiration. And her song, Domino, is like my number one most played song on my iPod. So I got to perform with her. It was amazing. And um, then a big time rush tour in South America, which I just got back from last week. And that was incredible. South America, Latin America, uh, such an incredible experience um, for myself as a person and also for um, as a musician. It was amazing. And here we are now. Hopefully my, my song is playing on the radio for the first time. Um, and I hope that will lead to more stations. I hope I can finish up my album and um, hope to release more singles, music videos, more tours. I'm just really looking forward to everything that 2014 will bring and beyond. <laughs>